Hey everyone, it's Bitcoin Brian here with Bitcoin Fam, and today I'm going to do a video on Dent. So if you could hit the bell notification, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all of that'll really help us out. Thanks. So anyway, before I start the video on Dent, I have to put out that disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. It's just my views and opinions and me sharing with you what I'm doing in the crypto space. So anyway, let's get right into it. Here we go. This is the Dent uh, website. So, and you can get to uh, the Dent website very easily. Just go to CoinGecko, look up Dent, and then down here, you'll see right there, they have a link for the website, dentwireless.com, and it'll bring you right to here. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to do a quick brief overview. I've done many videos on Dent in the past. So uh, just a quick overview because they have updated, which is fantastic. You can see now, just brief overview of what Dent is. Mobile connectivity for everyone, everywhere. They are working towards a future where companies can manage their telecommunication services easily, securely, and transparently. We help businesses provide faster, cheaper, and more reliable access to mobile data no matter where they are in the world. So that's their that's their mission. That's what they're doing. And they're using the power of blockchain technology to do it. So, um, and they have, uh, excuse me, and they have the Dent token, which they use to pay for their data plans. So it's providing mobile data worldwide. So you can see here, you click here at the list of the countries, over a hundred countries supported. I mean, you go through this list. Look at all these countries, man. It's crazy. And yes, the United States and Canada is on there. Just so you can see. There's, uh, there's the U.S. Canada's on here. Uh, all over the place. I mean, all over the world. So that's fantastic. So that's a little bit of what Dent Wireless is. But I'm more interested and excited about its token. The Dent coin. It might be a coin. But anyway, let's go in to uh, CoinGecko and I'll go through some of the details of the Dent coin. So you can, here you can see Dent is uh, right now it's 505 on the total market cap ranking. Uh, its price is just a little over one tenth of a penny. So that's crazy. It's like nine Dent tokens will equal a penny. That's how cheap it is right now. But mind you, there are a hundred billion token so that's a little reason why too they're a little cheaper but look at the fully uh diluted market cap valuation is 110 million um whoops, excuse me one of my one of my animals distracted me for a moment so um and then uh you can see trading volumes a little under 12 million uh, circulating supply which i like 95 billion plus tokens are in circulation so almost all of them so there won't be uh, any inflation really with this token because of a big token release or something like that. And then we can scroll down here. You can see uh, it's all time high is 10 cents. That's almost 100x from where it is right now. We'll do some math. Yeah, let's pull out the calculator. Oh my God, this is crazy. If this ever got to the all time high, and we're going to see if it's even possible, even if the market would support it. So here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and take that all time high of 10,006, and we're going to divide that by its current price of 0 0.001108. And that will give us uh, 90 over a 90x if this thing hits the all time high from its current price. <laughs> that is nuts. Even if it did one-tenth of that that'd still be a 9x almost a 10x so we're going to take that 90.7 number there right and we're going to use the market cap of 106 so we might multiply that market cap of 16 719 and what do we get so that would put dent at a nine and a half billion dollar market cap Hmm. I really, that doesn't sound feasible to me, even as, even though as much as I would love it to be that big, I don't think that's going to get there. 
could then get to um a, could then get to one billion or two billion honestly i think this is what i think that's gonna do and i'm gonna go to the charts with you and the charts are looking pretty good right now by the way so here we go here's the chart right this is long term you're seeing monthly candle wicks over here was 2017 or the beginning of 2018 when it hit its all-time high of 10 cents you can see here uh, that's that's 2021 and it hit like 2.2 cents so or two and a half cents somewhere in there so that was 2021 i'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're way over here not even on the screen it's a little blip but we'll go to the daily chart this chart is having a nice setup i'll tell you it's looking nice to me so here we go here is dent right and you can see this is on the daily now so we zoomed in you can see the 50 and the 20 is curling up 20 just crossed the 200 everything looks like it's going to continue up and we have you can see here we go up flagpole flag here's a little bull flag i think this is going to be a creation of another little bull flag i think we might come down to around you know probably around this range here like 0.00103 or 04 uh, even right uh, i'd like one you know i'd like confirmation though if this turns around so if you see um anywhere in this price range could be uh, a good price and to me the next level is going to stop or hit resistance is at the 0 0.0014 so that's almost a 40 percent gain there um and then that's gonna we're definitely gonna be up here uh, before the end of the year we could even be up as high as here by the end of the year because um, that's the next line of resistance where we had our local highs back in march uh this range of like two two tenths of a penny to two point uh five tenths of a penny but that was our you know short-term all-time high this year so after that if that breaks that level there is nothing stopping it until we get i mean it, this is that level so if dent breaks that level realistically we're gonna probably go up to around half a penny and then i really think 2021 highs of two and a half cents will be in play so that's where i think it's gonna go so we'll do those numbers now so let me go back to coin gecko so i think roughly so if we put uh, point zero, we'll just call it two five cents. That's where I think it's all time. That's where I think it's going to get this bull bull cycle. That's my guess. Let me divide this by zero zero one zero eight equals. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think this is going to have a two to three thousand percent gain. This bull market. So say we just do the the. You know that 22.5 so that would be 2250 percent so we'll multiply that by its current market valuation that's where i think that's going to probably be around the two billion dollar market cap by the end of this bull market and remember um like if you look at the market cap right now so let's go total market cap if that was two billion right now where would it be in total market cap what number would it be right now it's 505 so we got some scrolling to do so it was right around this so it'd be like 56 on market cap if it that's at its current price right but i really think we're gonna see an eight to ten trillion dollar market cap so this is gonna that's I think the market caps market caps going to bull market. So that would be with the you know just call it a, a 4 billion dollar or 4.5 billion dollar and probably like a 6 7 trillion dollar altcoin market cap. But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But you can see right now there's 102 cryptos that are worth a billion or more. So 
I, I really think that has a good chance. You know, I think there's definitely a 10 X in it all day long. I'm not, I'm not selling mine yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, waiting for this thing to go, but I really love dent. I had it a long time and I, I really think the chart's setting up looking pretty good. So if, if it was me putting an order in to buy it, I would put it right around, right around there. So it'd be 0 0.001048. That's what I would probably do. And then depending what you're looking to do, if you're just looking to do a quick trade, right? You know, you could go up to about here, you know, that's a 35% gain. So and on the downside, I'd probably put, I'd probably keep my downside, do a stop loss, keep that tight. Because if it gets down below the 200 day moving average, I would probably put my stop loss right around there, somewhere in there from, from my entry point. So anyway, that's what I would do. Um, if you're holding long term, any price in this range, I think is a good, good price. And let's just hope for a fantastic, uh, fast, large bull run in the rest of 2024 and upcoming 2025. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you could hit the bell notification, like, subscribe, leave a comment. All of that will really help us out. Thanks.